What's up guys, it's Meaty Mike. My name is Mike and I love meat. Today, we're firing up the smoker and cooking up a rabbit. Let's do it. Here comes Peter Cottontail, hopping down a bunny trail, hippity hoppity. We got ourselves a rabbit. He's just a little fella, that's all right. He's just over two and a half pounds, but rabbit is very underrated. I was at a local butcher shop. I saw a rabbit, had to buy it. I haven't had it in forever, and I'm really excited to smoke it. So rabbit's really lean, so we want to brine it. So I just did it overnight, salt, rosemary, thyme. Took it out this morning, patted it dry, and here we are. So we're just gonna dive right in here. And we're just gonna cover it with some olive oil. It's gonna help some of our spices stick to the meat, crisp up the skin a little bit. Flip it over. I cut the rib cage right down the center here so I can just lay it out flat. You can stuff it, I'm just gonna keep it plain. I just have a homemade rub that I'm gonna start with and go light on. You can get the recipe for that in the description. Rub it on in. Flip it over, get the underside. And then when you're done with your first round of basic rub, I'm using a Ancho Chili Coffee Barbecue Rub. It's got a good smoky flavor, a good sweetness. It's gonna go good with the rabbit. Rub it on in. All right, I'm gonna let it sit for about an hour, really let those spices sink into the meat, and then we can go pop it in the smoker. So we've been letting this rabbit sit for about an hour. Spices are looking good. Let's go put it in the smoker. So remember, rabbit's really lean, so we're gonna smoke this at 250. It's probably gonna take about two hours, but we're looking for an internal temp of 165. I got a mixture of cherry and apple woods in there. I'm gonna brush it with a mixture of butter and honey about every 20 minutes or so to keep it moist. I got my ink bird set to 250, and we're looking for that 165 internal temp, so we'll pull it out when it's ready. That's a good looking rabbit. Ink bird went off at 165, pulled it, tinted it in foil for about 15 minutes. The color looks awesome. The time was right around two hours to smoke it, but pay more attention to your internal temperature as opposed to the time. But man, the color on this looks great. It smells awesome. So we can just dive right in and rip a little piece off. Man, it, it's still juicy. The meat looks perfect. I mean, you can't even cook it any better than that. <laughs> wow. I've heard a lot of people say that rabbit is too lean to smoke. And I'm just here to tell you that they're wrong. A lot of people, you know, I see them wrap it in bacon. You can do that too. You can add sauce on it, but I left it plain. I kept it at 250, monitored my temps, mopped it with that butter honey every 20 minutes, and it kept it nice and moist. I mean, the meat just pulls right off the bone. Mmm. This is gonna go awesome in a rabbit stew. Serve it with some vegetables, put it on a sandwich. Man, this is great, so you gotta put this rabbit in your smoker. It turned out perfect. Stay tuned for the next video. 